Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve uh, question uh, number six from the document. Um, this is high level question. That doesn't mean it's it's not on also on the standard uh, level in both, but it has some extra questions for the high level students. A lightning system consists of two long metal rods with a potential difference maintained between them. Identical lamps can be connected between these two rods as required. So I have two rods and I can connect lamps between them. OK, the following data are available for the lamps when at their working temperature. Lamp specification 24 volt 5 watts. So this is the power and voltage for the lamp. Electromotive force supply 24 uh, volt. The power uh, supply maximum current. So here I have I maximum 8 amps. Length of each rod L 12.5 meter resistivity of the rod metal raw 7.2 times 10 to the power negative 7 ohm meter. Each rod is to have a resistance no greater than 0.1 amp, 0.1 ohm. So this is R. Calculate in meter the minimum radius of each rod. So I, I need R. We can use the equation R equals rho times L divided by the cross-sectional area. I need radius, so I have to calculate the area first. Swap, so area A will equal rho L divided by R. And that will equal 7.2 times 10 to the power negative 7. L is 12.5 R.1. So the area will be 9 times 10 to the power negative 5 meter square. I need R, I know area. If I have a rope, it's uh, pi R square. So the area of the circle, so pi r square, this is the area. I need r, so r will be area divided by pi under the square root. So this will equal area is 9 times 10 to the power negative 5 divided by pi, and this will equal 5.4 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter. B, <clears throat> calculate the maximum number of lamps, the maximum number of lamps that can be connected between uh, these uh, two rods, neglect the resistance of the rod. Now lamps, they're connected in parallel. Uh, the current for each lamp will be split. So if, if you have connection in parallel. The current, the total current that comes from the battery, if it's I, it will split to different current, I1, I2, I3. So the current in each lamp, if they have equal resistance, will equal the total current divided by their number, the total current, the big current, divided by how many, how many lamps. If I have a three, so it will be the total current divided by three lamps. So I, the current for each that pass through each lamp, will equal I total divided by the number of the lamp. That means the power as well, the power, electric power for each lamp will equal current times the voltage. That means the total current 
divided by their number times the voltage. I'll substitute here with the value of the current. So I need N just to swap. So number of lamps will be I total times the voltage divided by the uh, power for each lamp. Total current is eight, voltage 24. The power across each lamp, it's five. And this will equal 38 lamps. Okay, one advantage of this system is that one lamp, if one lamp fails, then the other lamps in the circuit remain let. Outline one other uh, electrical advantage of this system. Now the lamp they're connected in parallel. We know connection in parallel, all of them they will have the same voltage. So if the voltage of the battery is a 24 volt, all of them they will have the same voltage. So V1 will equal V2 will equal V3. V1 will equal V2 will equal V3 will equal 24 volt. That means they will have the same brightness because there's the same the same voltage. So the potential difference will remain uh, the same. On the other hand, if I connect them in series, the voltage will be divided. So the total voltage of the battery will be divided to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So total voltage will be V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus etc. if I have uh, more uh, lamps. So voltage across each lamp will be less than the total voltage that comes out of the battery. That means the, bright, the brightness of the lamp will be less and the potential difference will decrease. So lamps here, if I connect them in series, we cannot control them because they, they will have the, yes, they will have the same current, all of them the same current, but if one of them is not working or if one of them is burned, that means no current will pass through uh, the other lamps. But here, if one of them, for example, this one is not working, so I will have no current in this branch, but the rest of the branch is still will be uh, late because the current will pass through them. Okay. A step down transformer. Step down transformer means we reduce the voltage. Okay, is used to transfer energy to two rods. The primary coil of this transformer is connected to alternating main supply that has electromotive force of root mean square RMS of magnitude 24, uh, 240 voltage. So this is VRMS, root mean square voltage. The transformer is, this is high level. This is for the high level student. The transformer is 95% efficient. Outline how eddy current reduce the transformer efficiency. Now, what is the, ED uh, currents. Now, when we have, when we have, we have a primary coil, primary and secondary coil. So, induced current in the secondary coil, when uh, the ED current is uh, is caused because of changing in the electro, the in the magnetic field. So, magnet changing in the magnetic field, it will not only induce current in the secondary coil, but also will induce current in the coil itself. And this current, what we call ED currents, that current goes in a small circuit. Because of the ED current, it will, it will cause heat loss and increase in the temperature of the coil. How can we eliminate uh, ED currents? By using lamination. So we laminate, we use uh, insulated material to laminate the coil. So ED currents will cause thermal energy or heat loss in the coil. In the, in the conducting core. Last part of this question also for high level student, determine the peak current, the peak current, the maximum current, I maximum or I naught, I naught or I maximum in the primary coil when operating with maximum number of lamp. So first we have to find the maximum power. So P maximum will equal I times the voltage Current is 8, voltage 24, and this will give us 192 watt. This is P out. 
we know from the definition of the efficiency, efficiency, it's power out divided by power n times 100%, times 100%. So I have to find PN first, PN first swap, PN will equal P out divided by the efficiency. So PN, P out is 192. The efficiency from the question is 95. You mentioned here in the question efficiency is 95. 95% it means point 0.95. And this will give us 220 watt. Now, from the definition of IR, uh, the uh, IRMS, it's the peak current or the maximum current divided by the square root of two. Okay. Or RMS will equal potential Pn divided by VRMS. Pn is 202 divided by VRMS is 240 and this will give us 0.84 amp. In the question you want me to find the peak current. I have IRMS so I can find the peak current. I maximum or I peak, I naught or I maximum will equal a square root of two times I R M S. So a square root of two times 0.84 and this will be 1.2 amps. Okay, that's it. See you on the next video. Inshallah.